I think one of the most defining factors of casual mobile gaming is the ability to just pick up and play for as little or as long as you like, and this is just one of the ways in which Spartan Runner shines. As the title would suggest, it's a runner game, with the goal being to last as long as you possibly can whilst traversing the various hazards on the stage. Nothing really out of the ordinary there, apart from the fact it's based on Halo. That's right, Spartan Runner is a 2D pixel art game jam-packed with Halo nostalgia. With addictively fun gameplay, some really nice visuals and a banging soundtrack, Spartan Runner is just plain stylish. Let's take a deeper look into what goes into turning an epic series like Halo into a seriously casual game. I'm Funk to the Face, and as usual, you're watching Seriously Casual. Right off the bat, Spartan Runner is the product of Doberman Studios. It was released in early 2018, a whole 13 years after their previous title, Halo Zero, another side-scrolling 2D Halo rendition. Sadly, Halo Zero is not available on mobile, but I'll definitely be checking it out at some point regardless. The game's tagline on the Doberman website is simply, let's shoot and run. It's accurate and straight to the point. With only two controls available in-game, it's super easy to play. Tap left to jump, tap right to shoot. Easy, right? Wrong. I've been playing this game for just over a week now and I don't think it ever ends. Sure, you have different goals to achieve and some objectives here and there, but if you don't stop running, I'm not sure the game will stop either, making for some serious competition on the leaderboards. As you progress through Spartan Runner, you'll be rewarded with all sorts of Halo-centric nostalgia. As you blast your way through grunts, jackals, elites, hunters, the flood, and more, all beautifully presented in glorious 2D. You'll pick up different familiar weapons, including the Grav Hammer, as well as drive your favorite vehicles from the series. The fan service is definitely present here. You can also customize your Spartan, which is just a brilliant touch to the game. Wearing your favourite colours makes the game feel all that more yours, and after racking up enough points, you can unlock new helmets for your Spartan, including a few rather unorthodox additions. The points you earn aren't only used to unlock new helmets, you can use them to get power-ups or perks for your next run. This can be anything from starting with a random gun, starting with a vehicle, or starting 750 metres into the run. It's a pretty cool feature that can add some variation to the game, although it's important to mention the in-game purchases at this point. Don't worry, it's not all that bad, but credits can be purchased with real money, which you can then spend in-game however you like, be it on the new helmets or the power-ups. This is a funny one though, because the game is more than fair when it comes to rewarding the player with credits simply for playing. I can't see any reason to spend real money on the in-game currency, Although if you're going to attempt to bag that number one spot on the leaderboard, it'd be worth considering that other players might have started with the upper hand. But this in no way affects your ability to succeed at the game. The only other in-game purchase you can make is to remove the ads, which will play after you die. It's not very expensive at all, and it's a fun and addictive game, so I'd say removing the ads was a valid purchase if you enjoy Spartan Runner. Spartan Runner was created under Microsoft's Game Content Usage Rules, and as such is in no way in violation of copyright law with regards to Halo, so it enjoys a healthy community and presence on the mobile platform. Thanks to this, it is able to bring you all of the Halo nostalgia you could ask for, including some seriously cool music that is really well arranged and carries lots of themes and motifs from the original Halo soundtrack. I gave this game a 7 out of 10 for the following reasons. 1. While Spartan Runner is really fun, stylish and an engaging challenge, it isn't going to blow you away and change the shape of mobile gaming. Maybe with the next update though. 2. 
While I think that the way Spartan Runner handles its in-game transactions isn't really all that bad, I do have reservations about any competitive game that offers advantages at a premium. Spartan Runner has some untapped potential in the character customization side of things, so perhaps more in-depth and entertaining aesthetic items could be purchased with in-game currency and power-ups could be given as rewards for doing well in-game, rather than being an item available for purchase. 3. While the game does have gorgeous visuals and really well designed backdrops and enemies and so on, it is possible to play this game so much that you end up seeing the same things over and over again. Perhaps just a couple more areas could be added to the game and a more randomised placement of enemies and obstacles within those areas. Spartan Runner is available for free on Android and iOS, so if you're a Halo fan looking for your next big thumb workout, I'd highly recommend you give Spartan Runner a try. As always, thank you for watching, I'm Funk to the Face, and I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Seriously Casual.